Hi guys, welcome to the Beauty 11. I'm Christelle and this look is for an all peach look. It was inspired by the latest sleek um, palette coming out. It celebrates spring with all the peachy colors. So you have the um, eyeshadow palette of course. You have the pout uh, polish as well as a blusher. And I don't have any of these so I just wanted to do something that you could do with what you have. Um, that's really easy to do, very quick, depending on what you pick up from what I did, like the lower lash line. If you did what I did, it's going to take you longer or, um, yeah, just pick up whatever you want to pick up um, from this look. I hope you enjoy it, and if you want to know how to achieve this look, just stay tuned. I already did this eye, and I'm moving on to the other one. I'm first going to apply my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Next I'm going to apply this base here, um, which is called Coral. I'm just going to apply it on the lid. There you go. And for the rest of the lid I'm going to apply Quite Natural Paint Pot by MAC. Just going to even out the skin on my lid. Okay, next I'm going to use uh, Teta Tint by MAC. It's a very light peachy color and it's a matte finish. And I'm just going to apply it all over the lid. Next I'm going to work on the crease, like on this side, and I'm going to use, um, I think it's called Corduroy by MAC, which is a dark brown um, eyeshadow with quite red undertones, and I'm just going to take a pencil brush and apply it on the crease. On top of that corduroy color, I'm going to use um, Brown by MAC, which is just a basic dark brown color. And I'm going to apply it really close to the limit between the peach and the brown, just to darken out that outline a bit. And that is it basically. It's really easy, very simple to do. and. Um, I'm now just going to kind of blend everything together. I'm going to use Mineral Skin Finish by MAC to fill out the rest of the, uh, of the lid. Now this is my best blending brush. It's from Crown Brushes. I'm not sure what the number is. If I found it, I'll put the, the name up and the link on the blog. But this is just a phenomenal um, blending brush and I love to blend my eyeshadows with this. So I'm just going to blend the um, crease color up a bit. As you can see, I am done. Uh, now all I'm left with is the eyeliner. As you can see, I did a nice wing on this side. I'm going to do the same thing on the other one. But first, I have to clean up the inner corners here and the outer um, corner as well. Okay, um, I had to recharge the battery of the camera. So I just went ahead and finished the eye. What I just did is I did the eyeliner and applied the falsies, um, which are not as thick as I want them to be, but that's fine. I did my outline on the bottom lashes. Hold on. You can see. So on the bottom lashes, um, I did a kind of black liner and I used my eyeliner and I set it with black eyeshadow 
and then on the inner corner I did put a bit of um, coral base this one and on top I did put tetra tint the same eyeshadow as I did put on top and then yeah I applied a bit of mascara and that's it I did put my foundation on I use makeup forever HD foundation and I applied my concealer and then now I'm going to do my cheeks I'm going to use NARS um, Gilda which is a nice peachy um, blusher and I did use that one quite a lot as you can see it's quite stained um, there was a period I used to put that every single day I think it was like for two months or something so I really really like this one and I'm just going to apply this on the cheeks Now onto the lips, you can go really natural or you can go as I'm going to do, um, pitch. So I'm going to use Melange um, OCC Lip Tar and I'm first going to apply a lip liner. I'm not sure which one yet. These two. So I'm going to apply Cabaret um, Lip Liner by NYX. Okay, my lips are a bit dry, so I'm just going to moisture them a bit. I'm just going to apply some Labello. Okay, so I have a bit of melange on the hand here. There you go. And I'm going to use a lip brush. Mine is clean. It's just that um, all the lip tars I've been using have been tainting, um, staining rather my brush. So just a tiny bit. So you can leave it like that or like me you can add a bit of shine because I really like my lipstick to have a tiny bit of shine I'm going to use I think yeah I quite like this one this is baby blooms yeah it's called baby blooms and it came with the gar graphic garden collection Let me just give it a shake and it has really nice blue blue and pink sparkles like this and there you go really nice and simple peachy look I really hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next one bye